Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Chip Walters here. Today I want to talk about CMS galleries in Webflow, something that heretofore it really has not been possible. So let's go ahead and get started and tell you a little bit about what I'm talking about. So this is a gallery that I just created for a client. It's got uh, dogs in it, home with dogs, it's got puppies, and it's got hunting. And I want the client to be able to edit this and, and use the CMS editor to update with the pictures. One of the cool features of it is that it uses the Lightbox function built into Webflow in order to display all these pictures. And the pictures can all be uploaded by the client. And furthermore, each group is a separate group that you can walk through. So that's the whole idea. One of the other features is that I know the client will upload pictures at all different kinds of sizes. If you notice these, they're they're just different shapes and resolutions, portrait and landscape, and I wanted to be able to display them in an organized manner in the actual uh, web page. So that's another one of the big challenges that we're going to talk about. So let's get started. Okay, here I've set up a brand new Webflow page, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and create myself a CMS collection. Let's call it Gallery. Let's add add a field and we'll use image we'll add another field and I'm going to call this one gallery type and I'm going to have the first one is going to be home dogs and on the second one hunting dogs once I'm done I'm going to create the collection. I'm going to add 20 items in the collection. And now we're done creating the gallery. Okay, back at the home page. And let's fill this out. Put a section in here. And then I'm going to put a div inside the section. I'm going to call this div div responsive. And I'm going to set that to be 80%. Let's give it a 100 pixel. Uh, 100 pixel minimum and center it. Now the next thing to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add a heading and we're we'll called this one Home Dogs Gallery. Next we add a collection list. Here it is. We hook it up to the galleries a lot of items as you can see let's select an item and I want to go to the collection list right here and I'm gonna set this to flex now I also want to select this the justify space between but I'm not going to right now because I'm gonna show you why we need to do that in just a minute once this is done I need to hit this wrap children and now it's gonna wrap around now I want to set this up so that it works responsibly so I'll click on here here's our collection item I'm going to select the collection item and I'll go into this gear over here for the flex item and I'm going to type in 25%. And now we have four across here. Then I go over here and I'm going to type in 33.33%. I have three across there. Go here, 50%. Go here, 100%. So now we have all of our responsive laid out for our collection. One last thing we need to do for responsive is we're going to go into our div responsive. It's at 80% here. We're going to make it 90% there, 95% there, and then 95% there. So now we're fully set up for responsive layout. So now let's hook up our CMS gallery items to a light box. So to do that, I found this post over on Webflow Community by Orem's design and he's got a very nice little script right here that you insert so let's go ahead and take a look how we do that copy that script go back in here I'm gonna add a embed item in here and I'm gonna paste this script right in here now let's take a look at this and see what we need to do so the image source right here, we're going to change this and we're going to add a field and we're going to say that's going to be the image that's coming from our database. We're going to replace that with the, the image. I'm going to leave the group alone for now. So the CDN URL also in between the quotes. Let's change that to image and the URL in between the quotes. We change that 
to image. Now we save and close. Now you would think if we hit the publish button and we open it up you'll see all these show up but guess what the light box doesn't work. So why is that? So the reason for that is we need to have a light box gallery somewhere on our website. So let's go back to Webflow. Let's create a new page. I'm going to call this temp gallery. We can call it anything we want to, of course. And we can just come in here and all we need to do here at this point is grab a light box link in here. We'll go back to our home page. Now we'll publish, refresh, and now everything works. Now we're back at our page and this all looks great, but we'd like to get some spacing in between these images. So let's take a look how to do that. So we'll come back here and the collection item, we're going to add some padding first. I'm going to hold the alt key down so I get on both sides and I'm going to add about 10 pixels worth of padding. Now, if we look at this, we're going to see, turn on x-ray mode. We see that we're actually now inside. You can see we don't line up anymore on the outside. So what we want to do is we're going to click over here and we're going to add negative margin the same 10 pixels. And now you can see that we're kind of overlapping a little bit and we're not even close to where we want to be. So the reason for that is we want to go to the collection list two and we want to look at the flex layout. Remember I said that we wanted that to be this justify space between. If we click on that, now you see everything lines up perfectly. So that's why that's important. Next, let's go back to the item, the collection item, and we're going to add 20 pixels on the bottom margin. Publish, refresh, and you can see our grid looks pretty good. So if you wanted, you could stop right here and you'd say you'd be complete and finished, but there is a use case that I encounter quite often, and let's talk about that. And that use case creates a bit of a problem in this kind of a layout. Let's go back into the CMS. We'll edit one of the images and replace this with a portrait image publish and now you see what the problem is it is the problem is that we have a different resolution and a different size image over here and that creates problems so how do we fix that so to fix it we need to add a div with a background image using the same exact image so here we go Let's add a div block into here, collection item. Let's call that div item wrapper. Go in here and we're going to take this HTML embed and we're going to put it in the div item wrapper. Go back to the properties of the div item wrapper and let's say, let's get the background image from the galleries. So we'll select a field. We're going to use the image. Let me go back to this image and also I'm going to add a height to this image. I'm going to say 260, something like that. So I've added, I've added a, a fixed height, 260 pixels to that image. Turn off x-ray mode. We can see the color. Next, I move down to the background. I'm going to choose an image. I don't have any images. I'm going to just pull up any image I, want, I have here. Just there. Now we have an image and now I want to hit this cover button. And you can see that fixes it, puts all these images in the correct place. Let's center them. Let's turn this off here. Okay, now we're good. One last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually add a six pixel radius to these corners here. And now let's publish this and see what we have. Okay, well, we've kind of solved that problem, but we really haven't because we've got this image running into this image and something's just not working. Some of the radiuses are showing, some of them aren't. There's a problem. So let's go back to our Webflow gallery. So if we double click on this script, we're gonna see that this image source is image here. So it's overlaying, this, this is o being overlaid on top of the background image, and that's our big problem. So how do we fix that? Well, not really that difficult. What we need to do is create a transparent ping. So let's quickly jump into Photoshop and do that. In Photoshop, create new, we'll make it 800 by 800. Turn off the background or double click on it and turn it off and then save for web. We make it ping 24 transparency. Hit the save button. Trans 800 by 800 ping. 
save, replace, we already had one there. Back in Webflow, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom of this page. I'm going to grab a section and stick it at the top and then move it to the bottom. And there's a section and then I'm going to go in here. I've already uploaded my 800 by 800 ping. I'm going to just drag it, stick it in here. Okay, so now that I've got that done, that ping is in there. I'm going to actually hit this publish button. Back at the website, we refresh. Here's our ping. Can't really see it, but it says save image as. So let's open the image in the new in a new tab. Here it is. Of course, it's it's invisible, but this is actually the URL right here. So I'm going to grab that URL, Command C, go back to Webflow, delete the ping, delete the section. Let's go back up into our script, and right where it says image, I'm going to hit backspace and hit Command V, and save and close. Now. We're going to go to publish back here refresh now you see all of these images and these pictures have been cropped correctly no matter what the original resolution or aspect ratio and if you click on it you'll see you can walk through each one of the pictures using the light box control so what if you want to put more than one gallery on a page Let's take a look at how we would do that. So let's first of all, let's go into this collection list wrapper and go into the settings for that and notice that we have filters. And I'm gonna filter that by the gallery type. If you recall, we had a drop down menu that had home dogs and hunting dogs. So if I hit hunting dogs here and I hit save, now this will show you only the hunting dogs. So let's just change this hunting dogs gallery okay now we also want to make sure that when we click on one of these images that we're only going to display the list of those images in the light box we don't want to display all the images in the light box we just want the actual hunting dogs images so to do that if you remember back in our collection list wrapper it is hunting hyphen dogs capital H capital D so I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna say group hunting dash dogs save and close so that'll give me these images in this group so what I want to do now is I'm going to take this heading I'm going to copy it paste it and I'm going to drop it down there so now it's down here up over one and let's call this home dog home dogs gallery I'll take this same collection this this collection control C Go to the hunt here and add that. And so now we have this. I'll go in here. I'm going to change this to say home dog, save and close. And also, I need to go into the collection list wrapper and say the gallery type is home dogs and save. So now let's go ahead and publish refresh there's the hunting dogs and there's the home dogs if I click on here we're just going to be able to walk through only the hunting dogs if I click on here we're going to walk through only the home dogs one last thing let's take a look at the responsive nature of this particular gallery so I'm going to drag it down notice it's going to swap to three swap to two and eventually swap to one so it is fully responsive so that's one way of creating a customer modifiable gallery and even multiple galleries on a webflow website i hope this was helpful thanks for watching